Hey, what's up, y'all? This is kind of an intro to an intro. So I've been working on this content about taking my soil test results and then interpreting them and then showing you how I choose fertilizer. And it's really ending up being a couple of different segments. And this first one isn't one that a lot of people are gonna watch, but it's really important because it goes to the heart of the approach and the strategy. And this is about the mindset that you, that I recommend that you utilize going into a soil test. I know it seems weird. What, I gotta have a mindset going into soil test? And the answer is yes. So watch this video before you do any soil testing or for sure watch this video before you get your results back and decide to go and buy fertilizer. Now let's get into it. I took a soil test, I got the results back, I made an application, and today I'm gonna show you the results. We are definitely looking much improved. Now before we go and look at my actual soil test data, let me kind of help you get your mindset right because there's a lot of different ways to approach soil testing and some ways are more stringent than others. I, I try to make mine easy and fun. And so what I want to do is give you some ideas or some analogies to help set your mind right, at least in the way that I would teach it, help you with your mindset. So as you move forward and you see your soil test results, you're not concerned or even mortified by what you end up with. Because believe it or not, people can get quite panicked over their soil test results. And I don't, I don't want that to happen. Like I said, I want this to be easy. I want it to be fun. And informative. And so when it comes to soil testing, the first guidepost is, is that you actually don't even have to have a soil test in order to treat your lawn or in order to have a nice lawn. You can have the most beautiful lawn on your block, in your neighborhood, even in your city or state without a soil test. If you just go to any store in your area and you get fertilizer off the shelf and you apply it according to the label directions, your lawn is going to turn green. I can guarantee it. The Scotts Company sells millions of bags of fertilizer a year through big box stores and as far as I know, they don't have a soil test and I don't know that they promote one either. So some of you might ask, well, then why even take a soil test in the first place? And that's because there are those of us that literally like to go deeper. And if you have a little bit of extra data, you can optimize your results to get you to that next level, get you that extra boost that you're looking for as you progress and as you move down the line and as you get a little bit more crazy, because trust me, once you start spraying and praying and spreading and dreading, you're gonna wanna do it all the time. And having the extra data gives you more tools at your disposal when you do get that itch to spray and pray. So let me pause here and just say, after you get your results back, no matter what the results are, whether you think it's good, bad, ugly, or indifferent, do not panic about it. Do not worry about it. Don't be concerned about it. It's new information that you have that you didn't have previously that you can use to get better going forward, but it's nothing to feel bad about or think you've been a bad person or you've done something wrong or anything like that, okay? I Believe it or not, people, people panic over soil test results. Don't do that, okay? I mean, think about it. What did your lawn look like before you got the soil test results back? It wasn't totally dead, right? It was growing somewhat. You can see mine wasn't perfect, but it wasn't dead. I was still mowing it here and there. So don't worry about anything that's too high or too low or anything like that. Just realize you're gonna be better going forward than what you were in the past. And that's really all you can ask for in life, right? To be better today than you were yesterday. Lastly, there's no perfect fertilizer for everybody. There are so many different test results that you could get back and so many different fertilizers out there. There's no way that everything is gonna be perfect. It's gonna be nearly impossible for you to find a fertilizer that's gonna give you only what you need and nothing that you don't. So don't try to spend too much time finding that perfect fertilizer. Just get as close as you can with what's available to you. When you get your soil test data back and you're ready to go looking for fertilizer to match up with it, think of it like shopping for a car and how you look at different trim levels because as you move up in trim level or move down, you're gonna get some of the options you want, but then sometimes that's also gonna come along with some options that you don't want, but overall you do the best you can and get what you need. All right, last little bit here on the mindset. And then in the next video, we're gonna get to actual some fertilizers here. I'm gonna show you my soil test and actually which fertilizers I chose and why. But the last thing is people will say, okay, so I got my fertilizer and I threw it down and, and now what? Because they expect that there's some miracle application that's gonna fix the soil all with one app and that's not true. I want you to think of soil testing like a blood test. You get your blood tested, your doctor and you, you adjust your diet, maybe you get some supplements or whatever, and then you move forward and you test again in several months or in our case, for soil we test in a year and then you just readjust from there. So instead of expecting to fix this all overnight, it's a process and you gotta trust the process. You get the soil test results, you choose your fertilizers and you move forward logically using the data you got from the soil test, then you recheck again in a year or even two years. Okay, so now that you got the mindset right, and I'm gonna refer people back to this video that asks questions because this is really what you gotta do first because the next video coming out tomorrow is gonna be all about how I chose fertilizers based on my soil test 
results. And I actually went to the store and got a couple to show you how I would read through the label and make the decision on if that fertilizer works according to what my soil test results show or not. So if you haven't, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video with friends that also may be confused about soil tests. And don't forget below, I've got a full guide that goes along with all of this series that you can read that will also help you with getting your mindset right and choosing fertilizer. So hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the lawn.